Hello everyone. Today I am representing question from electrodynamics by David J. Griffith and this is problem number 5.8. In this question, it is given that find the magnetic field at the center of a square loop which carries a steady current I. Let R be the distance from the center to side. In question number B, it is given that find the magnetic field at the center of a regular n-sided polygon carrying a steady current I. Again, let R be the distance from the center of to any side. In question C, it is given that check that your formula reduces to the field at the center of a circular loop in the limit n tends to infinity. So let solve this question. For solving this question, first we'll draw. For solving this question, first we'll draw a rectangle of inside uh, a square of inside so let let this is a, a square of side n let this is the center of the square so distance in the in our question it is mentioned that a distance from the center to a side is equal to r therefore this will be r this is again equal to r this is again equal to r and again this is equal to r now let this our segment 1, this our segment 2, this our segment 3, this is our segment 4 for this loop and current is flowing in this direction. Now we'll first we'll find the magnetic field produced due to segment 1. So for finding the magnetic field produced by the segment 1, we'll join the end points of this se first segment to the center of the loop. Let this angle is equal to theta by symmetry. This angle is again equal to theta. Now from simple trigonometry, we can find that tan theta is equal to r upon r, which is equal to 1. Therefore, we can write theta is equal to pi upon 4. So magnetic field produced due, due to first segment B1 is equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi I upon R multiplied by sine theta plus sine theta because both the angles are equal to theta which will be equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I upon R 2 sine theta. Now we can substitute the value of theta in our equation. Therefore, B1 becomes B1 equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I upon R into 2 upon root 2. Now this is the field produced due to one side of the loop, of the square loop. So net magnetic field produced at the center of the loop B net will be equal to 4 times because it is a square of therefore the B net will be equal to 4 times magnetic field produced by one side 4 times mu naught upon 4 pi I upon R multiplied by root 2 upon 2 which will become now this 4 will get cancelled and this 2 there will be 2 upon root 2 this 2 will cancel and there will be root 2 therefore net magnetic field at the center B net at the center will become root 2 mu naught i divided by pi r now for finding the direction of this magnetic field, we will apply right hand rule by right hand rule. As we are seeing that the loop is in, in the direction of anticlockwise. The loop is circulating in anticlockwise direction. Therefore, if we curl our finger and if we, the curling of our finger indicates the direction of this current flow, then our thumb will indicate the direction of the, the direction of the magnetic field therefore we can write the, our direction of the magnetic field 
is towards the reader or towards the observer. Now we will proceed in our question number B. In our question number B, it is given that we have to find the magnetic field produced by a regular n-sided polygon. So let this is our regular n-sided polygon. And let this is the center of the polygon. Now if you join all the diagonals. Now as we are seeing that how much is the side this, the angle produced is in that time. If So if n is the number of the side then n will be the number of angle produced here. If we make a bisector of one side then every small angle measurement of every small angle equal to two times the side of the polygon let this is equal to theta this is equal to theta and all the small angles is equal to theta and again it, it mentioned our question that the distance from the center to one side is equal to r now as we know the angle produced at the center of any polygon is equal to 2 pi and there are number of all the small angles is equal to 2n therefore value of theta will become 2 pi upon 2n which is equal to theta equal to pi upon n now we will consider or calculate the value of magnetic field produced by one side of the polygon so if we find the magnetic field produced by the one side of the polygon then we will apply the Biot-Savart law by Biot-Savart law magnetic field produced by one side of polygon B1 is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I upon I is the magnitude of the flowing current this is I and R is the distance from the center to one side multiplied by sine theta 1 plus sine theta 2. Now as the value of sine theta 1 and theta, one, theta, theta 2 both are same therefore we can write the value of B1 is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi r multiplied by 2 sine theta. Now this 2 and this 4 will get cancelled. Therefore we can write B1 is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r multiplied by sine theta and value of theta is equal to pi upon n. Now this magni magnitude of the magnetic field is due to one side of the polygon. If we consider all the sides then our net magnetic field V net at the center of the polygon will be n times the magnetic field produced by one side of the polygon which will be equal to n mu naught i divided by 4 pi divided by 2 pi r sine pi upon n. This is the value of net magnetic field produced at the center of our n-sided regular polygon. Now we will solve our problem number C. For solving problem, problem number C, for problem C, it is given that when the number of sides reduces to infinity or n goes to infinity, then our B at the limit n tends to infinity will become limit n tends to infinity n mu naught i divided by 2 pi r sine pi upon n 
which will again become mu naught i upon 2r limit n tends to infinity sin pi upon n upon pi upon n. Now let pi upon n is equal to theta. If n tends to infinity, then theta tends to 0. Therefore, our value of net magnetic field B net will be equal to mu naught i divided by 2r into as we know the limit n tends to limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta. As we know value of limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is equal to 1. Therefore we can write B at the center of the loop will be equal to mu naught i divided by 2r as the value of limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta is equal to 1. Now we will verify or cross check it for verifying these. As we know the magnetic field produced by an arc segment if there is current i in the loop and angle produced at the center of the arc is theta and if r is the radius of the arc then produced magnetic field b can be written as mu naught i divided by 4 pi r multiplied by theta now this magnetic field becomes B is equal to N because there is N multiplied here in segment of arcs. So we can write N mu naught I divided by 4 pi R and now the value of theta is equal to 2 pi because for a circular loop or for a circular segment total angle produced at the center is equal to 2 pi therefore we can cancel 2 pi and 4 pi by 2 and we'll get the value of b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 r now we can see that magnetic field produced when the number of sides of the polygon becomes infinity is equal to b equal to mu naught i divided by 2r and magnetic field produced at the center of a circular loop is equal to mu naught i divided by 2r which are same in magnitude and the direction of this magnetic field is equal is towards the reader or observer or out of the plane of the paper.